We're looking at a Nook Simple Touch uh, black and white e-ink reader. It's a six inch uh, screen and it's running a customized version of XC Soar uh, that shows terrain. And uh, this is a lot of thanks to, Sal to Simon Taylor for uh, helping modify the e-ink reader uh, graphics routines to uh, enable this display of the terrain. Um, what we have here is the Mifflin task area in Mifflin, Pennsylvania. And I'm going to go into pan mode, draw P. And you can see there's a little bit of ghosting there. You can still see the P. It goes away pretty quickly when I drag. Um, so this is uh, Shade Mountain right below Mifflin. And this is the Tuscarora Ridge. Over here to the right is, uh, this would be the Harrisburg airspace down here and the Mantango Ridge. Whoops. And over to the left, or uh, up north, we have uh, the new State College airspace. And if I click on that, I can see that it's called University Park uh, Airspace Class D, ground to 3,500 feet. Close that. And uh, I'm going to exit pan mode now. Pan off. And let's look at the zooming. Uh, zoom in by moving the up arrow. Zoom in again. Zoom in again. And let's see how far we can zoom in before it... I guess that's about as far as we can zoom up. Oh, well, we can keep zooming. Wow, okay. Zoom to, let's zoom out a little bit. One of the neat things you can do um, with this software is on a ridge, if you don't know how high a ridge, you can touch it. And it'll display here at the top, you see that it says the distance, three miles, and the elevation, 2,200 feet. And you will, at where the plane is right now, it will not make it. Uh, it'll be 1,900 feet under it if you try to cross that ridge. Um, I'll put it into glider simulator mode. You can see it's, um, this is presumably what we're going 99.5 knots. Um, you can see the screen refreshing uh, the way XC Soar uh, does once a second. I'm going to zoom out once, zoom out again. And there you have it, uh, XC Soar running on the Nook. Let's have a little bit of fun here. I'm going to uh, compare this to an iPad 2, which is a 10-inch screen. And one of the things I've discovered is that this camera that I'm videotaping with has limited contrast. So it takes a second for the screen to adjust to the iPad. Um, I think you can see it's a the two one screen's much darker than the other, but how this would look in real life, how I see it looking at these screens, is different from how you see it through the uh, JPEG camera capture. So, if I zoom into the iPad, it becomes much clearer as the camera aperture adjusts, and if I zoom into the Nook, it takes a second for the camera aperture to de-adjust to allow less light because the iPad because the Nook is a much brighter screen uh, than the iPad screen. Okay, and that's, uh, this is, by the way, XCSOR does not run on the iPad. This is just a uh, software demo. Um, it's basically a web, web page that we're looking at for the iPad. So, uh, here it is, XCSOR uh, for the Nook. If you're interested in obtaining this software, it's not in the stock XC SOAR. I don't know when or if it will be in stock XC SOAR to run on the Nook. Uh, if you're interested in obtaining the software to run uh, this on the Nook, there's information at the on the website where you are watching this video.